So here we have a semi-detached house built in the 1950s. Uh, there's no air vents down on the floor, so solid concrete floor. Double glazing. Have we got a cavity wall fill? Yes, we have. There's some cavity wall fill. Side door. Passageway has also got cavity wall insulation. A lean to that's unheated. Quite a large garden. Overgrown and wild. That's the rear elevation. Looks like there's a, an air vent for a wall heater, so I'll check for that when I go inside. It's the kitchen. There's a radiator there with a thermostatic radiator valve. Single rate electric meter. Metal fuse board. Now that's where the uh, wall heater flue was. That's been removed ages ago, capped off. Okay, another radiator with a thermostatic radiator valve. The air, air vent we saw from the outside. So, uh, looks like there used to be a back boiler system here, either a park ray or a back CP Bermuda, something like that. As you can see, the pipes going upstairs. Then there's a hallway. We have a Worcester Comfort 2RF, so it looks like we've got a new boiler. Let's go upstairs. Nice orange steps. We got the bathroom here with an electric shower and bath. Separate toilet. Another radiator with thermostatic radiator valves. Another bedroom. And there's the new boiler. What's that? A Worcester Green Star 28 CDR Compact ERP. Got some low pressure. Let someone else worry about that. So no hot water cylinder. Let's check that loft. Thing. Uh, probably cavity wall. That's the overview of the loft. 100 mil. A bit more insulation. Me measuring the insulation. And again, just to make sure the auditor's happy. Another overview. So, aluminium framed windows. The, uh, party wall Unknown date, work. about 12 mil thick. Draft proofing strip. And the wall thickness is 300 mil. Okay, let's get right up. So, 28th of February, 23, we have a uh, non-marketed sale, 
social rent, house, semi-detached, suburban, with no extensions, mains gas, single weight electric meter, measured internally, with uh, three bedrooms, a lounge and a diner, so five heated habitable rooms, because they've all got radiators, low energy lighting, nine outlets and five low energy bulbs, a bath and an electric shower, built in the 1950s, normal amount of glazing, and then we have an unknown date, aluminium framed windows, 12 mil thick, no open fire, naturally ventilated, draft proofing to the two doors and all the window openings have got draft proofing strips, two doors, no conservatory, even though the lean-to hasn't got a glass roof so it's not a conservatory, just an unheated space. Hot water, no cylinder, and we have main building, cavity wall, 300 mil thick, that's got a filled cavity. Masonry, unfilled for party wall, alternate wall, no. And then we go um, floor, ground, solid, insulation as built. Loft, pitched, 100 mil loft insulation. There we go, no secondary heating. Main heating system is a boiler, runs on gas, radiators, programmer, thermostatic valve and TRVs. It has a fan flue and it's a Worcester Green Star ERP 28 CDI Compact. No renewables. Front door, party wall, unheated space, kitchen door, kitchen, diner, lounge, stairs. I've got the electric meter here. Bedroom three, bedroom one, bedroom two, there's the boiler, the loft hatch is here, and the bathroom's there. Party wall, heat loss perimeter, and we need the width and depth, and the ceiling heights. So here we got my Lekia D2 Disto. So we have a width of 7.446 and a depth of 5319, which gives us 39.61 meters squared. 7.446, 5.319 times by each other is 3961, and that's the meters squared. Now for the ceiling heights. Ground floor, 229. First floor, 232. Then we have a party wall of 5319, which is 532. And then a heat loss perimeter of 12 at 9, 21, 8, 9, 10, 11, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, at 6 is 20, 20, 21, heat loss perimeter. 
And that's it. Obviously input that into the software. Don't forget to uh, check the description. I've got links there to the telescopic ladders and my laser measurer and also a link to my single sheet site notes which is free to download. Anyway, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe. So I've just written it up and uh, the score is a C70 which is quite high really. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.